All right, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Aki I'm out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to uh, title this lesson, um, The Truth is Hidden in Plain Sight. Um, basically, the way uh, this world is, is set up right now, there are so many different beliefs and so many different doctrines out here that when people say the truth, it sounds outlandish or it sounds bizarre, okay? Because the truth was taken away from the world, okay? And now, you know, the Lord is bringing the truth back out, you know? And even even back then, you know, during the uh, uh, so-called biblical days, which we're we're still in the biblical days, which people uh, can't can't uh, comprehend that. Um, back then, you know, in the ancient times, there was uh, the truth out, and and when you would say, or, or people would say certain things. Okay, back then, okay, the people that had the truth would look at them like, yo, like, that's not the truth, you know, because people back then were saying um, outlandish things, okay, um, which I have the definition of, of outlandish, okay, it says looking or sounding bizarre or unfamiliar, okay, now, for us um, Israelites, okay, you know we had we had the truth, and and we have the truth uh, to this day, okay. But back then, if you were to say, uh, uh, like like for example, um, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, you know the Holy Trinity uh, doctrine. If you was to say that back then, the 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 the, the Israelites knew that that wasn't the case. But now, in this society, you have people that actually believe that the the um, Holy Trinity, the Father, and the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit, they're all the same person. Okay, now, people believe that, and, and when you tell them that that's not the case, you know, they look at you like you're, you're bizarre. Okay? And that's just the way how this, this system... This world is set up that when you believe in or bring out the truth, people aren't used to it or they're not familiar with it. So they they automatically um, uh, write you off as being weird or, 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 or being um, crazy out your mind, okay? When in reality, they're really the ones who, who are out of their mind, okay? Um... I have the word for illusion. A thing that is or is likely to be wrongly perceived or interpreted by the senses. Okay? And and what a lot of people uh, fail to realize is that they are actually uh, uh, caught up in an illusion. Okay? Uh, wrongly perceiving, you know, based off of the, the, the ideologies... That the so-called white man puts out there. Okay? Which they change something every year. It's always something new. Okay? But the truth is, 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 is concrete. It's not something that you can change. Okay? That in this society, they have the illusion that a man can change his sex from a male to a female. Back then, in the, in the biblical times, if you was to do something like that, you would get stoned. Okay, because that's an abom abominable thing to do, but people have that uh, perception, you know, that that they can do that. Okay, it says a deceptive appearance or impression, a false idea or belief. Okay, and 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 the truth now 
is looked at a false looked at is a false idea or belief. Okay? When we uh bring out the truth, okay, you have so many people that walk by that don't want to listen, okay, people that question it, people that, that come up and they 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 um they come against the truth, okay? But when it comes down to what is being said in these school systems, what is being said in a church or anywhere else, you don't see people going out and 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 um going against the people that are teaching those things. But as soon as you see people out there on the corner on the highways and hedges bringing out the truth, you people you sit up there and you come come up against us. Okay? This is Luke 19 and 41. And when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept. Okay? And this is for, this is the red letter. Okay? Um, it says, saying, if thou hadst known, even thou, at least in, 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 in this thy day, the things which belong unto you, thy peace. I mean, unto thy peace. But now they are hid from thine eyes. And the truth is, is hidden from our people's eyes. Okay? The people who they brought over here on slave ships were a spiritual people. Okay? Known as the nation of Israel. The, the biblical Israelites according to the Bible. Okay? Um, the prophecies was written that our people were going to slavery because we were the ones who denied the Lord our heavenly father okay we was the ones who who went off from from our creator okay so if these people knew the prophecies that was going to going to come you know that like even even still to this day but, but but back then if they knew it was going going to go down then they wouldn't they, they a lot of stuff would have would have been changed okay but we know that everything happens for a reason so the things that are hitting from our people's eyes today are who they actually are okay the fact that uh the, the, the predominantly the so-called negroes latinos and native americans are the israelites the god's chosen people for the 12 child, children of jacob okay and 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 the promises that that are in the bible are given to us you have people that believe in so many different things out here in this society that is crazy. They don't they, they they see the police riding up and down their block and they don't think for a second that they're institutionalized. You know? That that this this society done got you geared up to thinking that it's a normal thing for the police to just walk up and down your block and and, and uh and basically oppress you, you know? Our people uh, think it's normal to just wake up crazy hours um, during the day to go work for a job that don't care about you, okay? And, and and we're basically in captivity, you know? The scripture said if if you knew, you know, it, 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 even on to this day, man, you know, the things that belong unto you are peace, man. We deserve peace and happiness, Okay? But we're working and we're we're in a in a sad state of being, okay? Meanwhile, the people that we're working for are 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 at peace. Okay? But the truth is is so hidden from our people's eyes that when you tell them this, some people hear it, some people don't want to hear it. Okay? But then you got some people that want to hear it and then they they, they 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 just walk off or like it like it's nothing. You know? People, people that believe that they're already saved, that's an that's a that's an illusion, okay? That's uh wrongly you wrongly perceiving that you're um that you are are saved already, okay? Um, with, I'm gonna get the definition of a mistake. It says an action or judgment that is misguided or wrong, and and what our people are doing is making a mistake that they that they're actually following. The, the 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 Lord the right way, you know. Our people are being misguided. They're wrong.
and the ways that they're doing things. Okay? Thinking that you already saved, not, that you don't got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay? And that's one thing also, you know, the laws. Because you tell people, okay, we supposed to keep the laws. Don't eat, um, for example, crabs and shrimp because they're supposed to clean the ocean. And you tell people that, they'd be like, oh, that's, that's, they too good. I can't give that up, you know? And, and they look at you like you're, you're not supposed to be judging. But if, if the crabs and shrimp was gone, okay, the, the, which the ocean is dirty right now, it's filthy, okay? The, the, if, if all the crabs and the, and, and the stuff that we're not supposed to be eating was, was taken away, then this planet, which is already filthy, would be even, it wouldn't even be, uh, inhabitable, man. Okay? It's a, it's a, it's a blessing that we even able to still, um, be living. Okay? With all the pollution that's in the air, in the water, okay? And like as, like as the scriptures say, you know, if, if, if these people knew what was going on, then, then, then they would understand. For the day shall come upon thee that your enemies shall cast a trench about you and compass you round and keep you in on every side. Okay? And it's going to be a time when, when martial law comes. Okay? People don't believe it because it technically didn't happen. Okay? But it's going to be a time when it comes, man. Okay? People always try to find a way to, to, to or, or think of a way of how they can try to come up out of the system, okay? How they can beat the system thinking that, okay, we can we can all come together and, and, and get um guns and we can go fight the government. Then you're not going to win versus the government, man, okay? The Lord set them up. That's a spiritual thing, okay? That's hitting from people people's eyesight, okay? So when they come and they... they, they uh, surround your house what you gonna do okay when you when you go out there and go protest you know and you go destroy your own neighborhood where you gonna go at because the the, the same block that you just you done destroyed they they know the city all off top already okay and you destroying your own neighborhood and the people that you go to ain't gonna help you out they're gonna turn you in and you people don't understand that it says, and shall lay thee even with the ground, and thy children within thee, and they shall not leave in you one stone upon another, because thou knewest not the time of visitation. Okay, there's so many things that are hidden from, from our people. You know, they think they African American, they think they Mexican, they think they Native Americans or Puerto Rican, whatever land uh mass you from, they think that that's that's what they are. Okay? You tell all people that martial law is coming, that uh, the, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, okay? You tell them that um, that uh, the diseases are coming, okay? And they're not looking for it. They're not, they're, not, they're not looking at it, okay? Noah prophesied that the earth was going to be flooded. And the people back then didn't see the, um, the, 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 the it rained before. But then, lo and behold, it, it, it flooded, the, the, it rained, okay? And the, the Lord said he's going to destroy America, Babylon, the great, with, with thermonuclear missiles, man. Okay? But a lot of our people, two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed. Okay? Um, Ezekiel 12 and 2. Son of man, it says, uh, the word of the Lord... I'm going to start at the first verse. The word of the Lord also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. And when you look at our people, man, they are a rebellious house. Okay? They're into all type of different wickedness, all different types of cultures and stuff like that, except for their own, which have eyes to see and see not. The truth is, is right there in front of you. They have ears to hear and hear not. For they are a rebellious house. Therefore, thou son of man, prepare you, you stuff for removing. And remove by day and their sight. And thou shalt remove from thy place to another place in their sight. It may be they will consider though they be a rebellious house. Then shalt thou bring forth 
your stuff by day in their sight is stuff for removing, and thou shalt go forth at even in their sight as they go as they that go forth into captivity. So what the Lord is saying is that you know he told Ezekiel, okay, these people don't see it, you know. So hey, I want you to 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 uh, prepare your stuff and move it from one place to another, okay. And then and then move that that stuff back to another place, okay. And that's what happened. Our people left from the land that they that they were in, okay, and they went into captivity, okay. And and this is a this is a parable because the Lord, um, he did this in their in their in their sight, okay. As the scriptures say, and removed by day in their sight, and the people still. Uh, could not perceive it okay what was going on so the lord uh put this in there because he don't want everybody to get it okay um romans 11 and 7 what then israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for because what are these people looking for okay they looking to try to get their degrees um they looking forward to, to, to these holidays you know they're not looking for the prophecies in the bible to come to pass they looking for 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 Donald Trump to to do the the, the next uh, crazy thing, which we looking for that too, okay? But they don't look at Donald Trump as as uh the same light as uh the the Israelites do, okay? Because our people think Donald Trump, um, even though he's wicked, you know they 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 don't they don't see Donald Trump as the the guy that's gonna destroy them because they think that he can he gonna get in peace and and um. You know some all that crazy stuff, man. You know, they 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 hoping that he don't he he don't last in office so that America can continue going on. But we hoping that he don't last in office so that he so that he can destroy America. Okay, so so the rest of our people are blinded, but it, the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay, because. The, the Lord only wants a certain amount of people, okay? Um, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, which is the good news, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which, see, which believe not. Okay, you got people that believe in, like I said, many different um, uh, philosophies, you know? White Jesus is one of them, and 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 even the scriptures, the Bible in itself. You got people that pick up the Bible and still can't get it. They they still don't understand what the Bible is saying. Okay, they read the Bible from front to back, and they still don't understand what what's the message. That's what's the gospel. Okay, like I said, people that think that they already saved and stuff like that. You know, got non messianics and stuff like that. Okay, but people who, who believe uh, or, or, or look at the Bible, you got people who, who don't even believe in the Bible that are Israelites, you know, and, 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 and come up against the Bible. Even, and, and, and the Bible is right there in front of you, you know, there's many different ways to, to prove that the Bible is real. You got the men of the Lord out there that's, that's bringing out the truth, okay? It says, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shah, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine onto them. You got people that, that you know, like I said, believe in the Holy Trinity. Okay. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, and the wicked has been revealed. But somehow, some way, you know, Satan then transformed himself into an a angel of light. You know. Now the so-called white man can be saved, and uh, he's 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 not that bad, you know. Uh, slavery done happened uh, years ago, okay. It says, "Then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming." And we tell y'all who who the wicked is, man. We tell y'all who who the wicked is, not just not just Esau or the Edomites. Okay, who are predominantly the so-called white people, 
but you also got some niggas out here, man. Okay? And nigga woman. That 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 gotta get uh uh told that they're gonna get destroyed if they don't repent. Of the ones that are of Israel. Okay? It says even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Okay? They came over here. They stole this land from the Native Americans, okay? And they still oppressing the Native Americans, still oppressing the Negroes and the Latinos, okay? Um, they have the military might, okay? And 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 they have the strength because they done put the the, the their wickedness all throughout the the world that now is 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 done got our people so lost okay our people are so lost the women don't even care about doing right by their man anymore the men don't even care about doing right by their woman anymore okay everything is turned upside down it says and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that purse and and this is the, the word devil means deceiver i mean deceiver okay so these devils, the so-called white men, are unrighteous, man. Because they receive not the love of truth that they might be saved. You even got people out here that uh, of 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 um of Israel that are devils, man. And for this cause, Yahweh Yahusah shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That you're African American. That they're white, okay? That you can eat whatever you want to, okay? That Christmas is 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 in the Bible. That that you're in a religion. The list goes on and on, okay? There's so many lies out here that when you tell people the truth, they look at you like you're crazy, okay? And I have one more definition. Uh, for the word matrix something within or from which something else originates and 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 the crazy thing is that america which which claims to be a a a, a, a nation that that believes in the bible they don't they 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 they, they hold the bible in in their their, their uh, courts you know, doing their presidential inaugurations and stuff like that, okay? But it says something, something from which something else originates, and they try to say that they they originates from the Bible, but they don't follow not one thing that's inside of the Bible. Where do you see America at in the Bible? Okay, that shows you that this place is wicked, man. Okay, it says. From which something else originates, develops, or takes form. And they think that they, they take a form from the Bible, but it's really the form of the devil, man. It says, an atmosphere of understanding and friendliness that is the matrix of peace. Okay? And this is the point right here, atmosphere of understanding. And the atmosphere of understanding that's out here, you, people get it from, from the, the, the churches, they get it from... The school system, from whether it's grade school or or, uh, or college, and and you don't even know nothing, man. You go to a, a a historically black college, and you don't even know anything about who you are. It says examples of matrix in a sentence: the complex social matrix in which people live their lives, and this is all a lie, man. That people are living, man. You know, this whole atmosphere of of America, okay, which in the Bible is called Babylon, which is confusing. Everybody is in a confused state of mind, okay? And it's just being trickled down, okay? Um, that's the fruit that 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 um that that Eve ate and gave to her man okay in the garden and this is this is this is prevalent uh today man okay 
that's the Adam and Eve is allegorical for today. Okay? Because our women think that they're hey, that's a that's a lie too. The atmosphere of understanding out here. That that men and women are equal. Okay? That illusion. Okay? But with that, man, all of this thing, all this stuff out here, man, all these these lies are gonna be done away with. And we're gonna know the truth one way or another. Okay? And 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 the people that that uh don't want to get it, you know, you're blinded. And 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 that's just the truth, man. Okay, the Lord has to call you out out the truth, man. I mean, call you into the truth. Okay, you don't choose the Lord; the Lord chooses you. And hopefully, we're we're chosen. Okay, but with that, man, hopefully this was an edifying lesson. And I want to say shalom till next time.